the curious thing about any kind of um, sort of intentional spiritual contemplative practice or um, investigation such as a meeting like this is that whatever it is we're looking for or hoping to discover or hoping to root ourselves more fully in um, is already was already the case before you hopped onto the call um, or sat on your meditation cushion or did your yoga class or went on retreat it was already the case is the case now and will be the case when this call ends so i was recently talking with uh, someone i was doing a one-on-one -on -one session with about this and we had a lot of questions about meditation and my views about meditation and there's of course many different ways to understand what meditation is and how to approach it and here's one way to think about it that i'd like to explore with you for a few moments and that is that we often think about any kind of practice or inquiry as a means towards some end right greater clarity greater freedom greater openness greater awareness recognition of the inseparability of everything, right? So somehow if I do X inquiry, contemplative practice, I will arrive at, right? The desired <laughs> goal. So yes, so seeing meditation in that light is pretty typical, even if we may not even realize it. We see it as a means towards an end. And what I'd invite you to consider now is that as we sit here and are with our experience, this is not a mean toward, means towards some end. It's not a means towards freedom, a means towards openness, a means towards inseparability. This is an expression of those things. This moment is not a means towards those ends. It is an expression of that which we are seeking. I just feel as you're sitting here, rather than any sense of this going to some end or, or again, a way to get towards some understanding, some goal, but just see this moment of whatever we call it, sitting here together, inquiring together as an expression of reality. An expression of the whole, of existence. Every instant, every momentary experience that might arise, the experience that is arising <laughs> right now. And however you might be designating it, however you might be categorizing it as a thought, a feeling, a sensation, a memory, a, a, a visual image, a body sensation, any of the five senses, all the ways that we place experiential phenomena in the different descriptive categories that we do, just quite automatically, consciousness is doing this. Regardless of that, just feel the reality that this moment of experiencing is the flow of life itself. This is the flow of the wholeness of life. So just let it be what it actually is. Not a means towards wholeness, but an expression of wholeness. Not a means towards something we might think of as freedom or awakening, but an expression of the wakefulness of life itself, the illumination of life itself. Everything is an expression of life.
sitting here, an expression of life. Whatever the mind is doing, an expression of life. Whatever's being felt, whatever's being sensed, whatever is seemingly being known and cognized, recognized, unrecognized, all of it, the display, the shining of reality, the unpredictable, spontaneous flow of existence. So we could say that we're not sitting here to get somewhere. We're sitting and all that's happening is this is being expressed. This moment is being expressed. All of our experience, the expression of, of life itself, of reality itself. The flowing forth of what is. And that's always true. It's true now, it's true in every instant. It was true before we started this little inquiry together. Every sound, every sight, every texture, quality, mood, flavor, all of them, the effulgence of the light of reality, its shine, the unstoppable shining of reality. And so from this standpoint, there is no particular experience to have, no correct experience to have, no experience that could get us closer to reality for all experience is the expression of reality. There's no distraction, no obstacle for everything that arises is life's expression. So where is the, where is the distraction or, or obstacle? There is none. You feel that, feel this moment. the upwelling of presence. Always here in this flash instant, no past, no future, always this immediacy. No past or future can be found. And what we call this instant is so slippery and ungraspable owing to its um, dynamic nature just doesn't hold still. It's that alive, like a fire crackling, not holding still, but dancing, electric flames, sparking the sparks of experience, just it's how effortless. This is the effortless nature of this. There's not something to do to arrive closer to the wholeness. <laughs> this is the wholeness expressing itself already here as each momentary perception. Impossible to get any closer to it or be taken away from it when all of it is its emanation, its shine, its, its radiance. No place to arrive. Every instant is the arrival of reality. A 
the perfection, the great perfection, bursting forth as each instant of this that we call life, that we call reality, that we call existence. Nothing out of place. And, and we're not standing apart from this effulgence, this radiance, noticing it. We are the radiance. The radiance noticing itself, enjoying itself, reveling in itself, drinking itself, tasting itself, appreciating itself, marveling at itself. What's looking through our eyes, the effulgence, the light of reality. What's hearing my words, the light of reality. What's feeling every moment, the light of reality. Boundless and utterly beyond any possibility of defining it. Coming to some sort of conclusion about what it is that we can then declare as our knowledge of it somehow, our, our ability to encapsulate it in some way. It's not encapsulatable. <laughs> And that's true of every experience. For no sooner have we seemingly captured it in words or concepts than it has slipped away and become its next incarnation. It's the moment's next uh, form, seeming form, and then it slips away again impossible to hold on to that this that is so alive and unstable there's no there's no sustaining some state that we might think of as being it or being what we're looking for how can we sustain this that is constantly changing and slipping away but it doesn't need to be sustained because it's always here <laughs> it never goes anywhere right no need to sustain it it's just he, what's here, sustaining itself, we could say, even as it's constantly becoming something unique in the instant. Always being, always becoming, always being. Your very body, the absolute radiant shining of reality, your very mind, the shining of reality right now, your personality, the em emanation of existence, effortlessly flowing forth in every instant with nothing needing to be done to, to bring this somehow more into view, to bring this closer. This is fully in view as each momentary perception.